Fearful. When God has predestined something, He must accomplish it to us. And and even the book of of the book of First Samuel chapter eighteen, David said, "Who am I? Who am I that I can be considered? Who am I and my where 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 is my family?" And I, I tell you, this, this is matching with the the, the Asla movement. <laughs> <laughs> it is matching with us for a moment. Who am I that I can be chosen to be the king? You, you remember that God does not see you from the background where you come from. Amen. God sees you from the desire and the love for him. Amen. David loved the Lord, isn't it? Yes. Remember when he was going to fight the giant... He's saying that you come to me with the authority as man, but I come to you with the power of God. Amen. I want to remind, remind you, the deputy, that go, go to them by the power of God. Amen. Face them by the power of God. Amen. Just with the five stones that our bishop told you that time when they were with you. They have the five stones, just carry them. Don't forget that God is revolving around you all the times. I believe that what God predestined in time, He accomplished it in time. And He will never lose a step of doing that. Destiny revelation. What God has revealed. And I think it's, it is revealing to you now. You see these people here? Make sure you have millions of people in Nyanza. Yeah. This can be a revelation. This can be a revelation to you that somebody should not tell you you don't have support in Nyanza. The, revelation, the destiny revelation is that God would plant you everywhere you go. Amen. As he told the Israelites, that wherever you step in, that land I will give to you. Amen. I will give it to you. And therefore, my brother, my friend, we love you. Because one thing, you are a brother in Christ. The gist of our constitution is that we believe in diversity. Without tolerance and harmony, the lasting peace in a society cannot be maintained and loyalty for each other cannot be established. Lack of tolerance leads to fighting violence and finally destroys peace and security of a society. Tolerance creates a society in which people can feel valued and respected, each with their own ideas, thoughts and dreams. Tolerance is an important and essential aspect of healthy, livable society we all want. Sir, we appeal to our leaders to talk and tolerate one another. We appeal to our leaders to stop talking about one another, but talk with one another and embrace differences of opinion, because this is indeed the hallmark of our chapter 4 of our Constitution. Our prayer is that people do not use hatred to achieve what they need, what they like. We appeal to Kenyans that every member of our society or community should take into account the needs and aspirations of human family as a whole. This is the kingpin of peaceful coexistence. Crime is not a solution to any problem. Crime is not an admissible informal sector occupation. Sir, we are very happy that you are associating with the clergy. The clergy are a group where the Bible says the only weapon that they use is prayer. And we all know that when we want answers in prayer, we must ourselves be ready be part of the answer. And this is why we are here. That if our prayer is going to be answered, we are going to be part of that prayer. Tumeona daktari mbele yetu na ye ni mtu wetu kabila la Kenya mtu wa Kenya daktari wetu tibu watu wako kwa kipole kwa kipole weka sandani Weka dawa, kuna dawa, na weke pole pole. Eh? 
mawe ya 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 King Suleiman alikuwa mawe mmoja na aligonga goli ya mara moja ta taro kugungulia goli ya 30 ata ata nakumbushwa maneno yaliyo katika Biblia kitabu ya Amos tatu na mstari wa tatu Amos 3 verses 3 inasema hakuna vile wawili wanaweza kutembea pamoja kama hawajapatana si ni lazima tutembee pamoja kama wa Kenya tutatembea pamoja vipi kama hatujaketi vile tumeketi tupatane tuelewane tukubaliane ndio tutembee safari moja ya kuunganisha wa Kenya ya kujenga taifa letu pamoja this is why we must continue the conversation we must continue engagement we must continue to build these bridges of friendship so that we can have a cohesive united nation